Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The ASUS ROG Ally is having freezing and stuttering issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up. The first one is all about we have to update the BIOS, that is what we have to do. For this we just need to go over here, you need to go to the Google search or you have to search like ASUS ROG you know, uh, you have to search to this particular website, which I'll be providing in the description, so you don't have to worry. So just get into this one. And when you get into this one, as you can see, the model number of ASUS ROG Ally is RC71L. So when you're going to go to this particular page, you will be able to understood that we are having the options for drivers, etc. So right now, as you can see, there is an option over here in the drivers and tools. There is an option. We have uh, BIOS and firmware as well. So from here, you have to select the model. So here I have, I can select any model. So I'm going to so go for RC71L, which is the model for the ASUS ROG Ally. Next one, I have to select the OS that is Windows 11. So I'm going to select the Windows 11 because I'm on the Windows 11. And once you go for this, you'll be getting this particular option. That is right now, there is a Realtek LAN driver updates available here, which is around here. So we just need to download this one and download and install. Same way we can download and install. This is how we can update the driver. So just update the driver. This is the first one we can try out when you're having an issue with you. You need to update the driver as well as the BIOS. Once you update the driver, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. Even if it's still it's not working, we can move to the next one. That is all about we have to enable the FPS limiter. For some ga games, that might be the reason. So we have to enable this. So here we are, we are having an option. Just press this particular button over here. When you press this, you'll be getting this particular option, the command center. Now from here, we are having an option for FPS limiter. So we just need to actually that is right now, as you can see, this is turned off. We have to press this. And we, have, we can set this to 30, 45, 60, even for 90 and according to 120 according to your configuration. So you can set the FAS limiter. So you need to turn this on and once after this you, ha you have to set the FAS limiter according to your criteria. You can keep this on 13, 16, 45, 90, 120, that's all up to you. You need to enable the FPS limiter. Once afterwards, try launch the game. And even if you're still having the issue, the next one is all about you have to check the temperatures of the ASUS ROG Ally. So if it is too hot, what you need to do is we just need to keep it cooled down completely. You need to wait for a little bit of time. And once afterwards, you just need to try to play the game afterwards. I mean, I have to say you have to keep this completely turn it off and how like uh, what you have to say is 30 minutes to one hour you have to completely keep this off once afterwards try launch the game because this has to be get cool it down or else you'll be having these kind of trouble so just cool this down and once afterwards see if the issue is solved or not even after trying with this if it's still it's not working we have to try with the next one that is all about we have to clean the spaces so as you can see we just need to go over here in the this file explorer now from here we have to go to this PC over here as you can see the local disk so you have to make sure that this is completely turned off make sure that you are having good enough space or else you will be having the trouble. So see cross check this one as well you can cross check that you have space or else you have to delete the unwanted things. Once you cross check that you just need to close this as I have cell and once afterwards try launch the game even if it's still it's not working the next one is all about we have to go for a factory reset. So for this we just need to press the volume down press and hold the power button in order to get into the factory reset. So the factory reset did work it for many users so you can try this out so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with asus rog allies having freezing structure issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye